Hi, here's an easy tutorial for everyone who has been looking for a simple, detailed tutorial to make fake backgrounds for their YouTube videos. If you're meeting me for the first time, hi, I'm glad you stopped by. My name is Noma. Welcome to the channel. Now, if you have been holding back on making that video that you, you would really want to make because you feel you don't have a comfortable space, there are some things you have to pay attention to. Number one, pay attention to your body movements while filming. You don't want to be all over the place while filming. I know you have some expressions to make. I know you want to express things. But remember, it's a fake background. You don't want to destabilize things. Just bring it down. You don't have to be all over the place with your fish with your hands you know throwing your hands here and there just bring it down so that the body movement does not destabilize the video the second one i want to talk about that's the second measure i would like you to bear in mind is while you're filming filming rather pay attention to the stability of your phone that's the camera you don't want your camera to shake you want it to be stable so you don't have to give it to someone to hold for you. Invest in a good tripod or even if you don't have a tripod, make sure you place your phone on a very comfortable place, on a place that will not, you know, shake the video while you're filming. The next one I want to talk about is lightning. Pay attention to your lightning. You can have an artificial lightning, that's if you have or natural light natural light i mean you can if you're in your room or anywhere make sure you open up the windows so that the rays of the light can come in don't be in a dark place film on a plain background don't film on a mixture of colors like a background that has mixture of colors you can film on any background you want but let it be plain plain not mixture of colors that way you're good to go now just before we go into the tutorial proper you would have thought about the background you want to create you would have thought about what you want be it an office office background a marketplace or a classroom background any vibe at all you would have had it in mind so with this in mind let's head to the software so the first software we'll be using is called Canva. If you don't have it already installed in your phone, you can go to your browser and type www.canva.com. How to create a fake background using a mobile phone. So guys, this is my mobile phone. Once the Canva interface has opened, you search for YouTube thumbnail. So it opens up like this. Mine is like this because I've done a few things using this software. Yours may be different. Scroll down to look for element. Okay. Then tap on it. It brings you here where you can see AI image generator. AI image generator. That says over there. I hope you can see it. Look at that plus sign. I mean that blank space tap on it and it brings you to this page where you have all of these things here so here you can see describe what you would like to create so this is where you write what you would want to create okay so let's start So this is me trying to describe what I want, you know. So I I started with this and then yeah, I kept going. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to say, a neatly arranged bedroom with a reading table. Once you're done typing in your request, then click on generate image and wait for your images to appear or to be generated. Then 
the images have been generated so i'll go through it to see if it is exactly what i like and what i would want to work with so this is me flipping you know just play with it just check if it is what you want then if for any reason you don't want it feel free to generate again so yeah just play with it and you know explore all the options you might have Once you're done making your request and you're comfortable with the image you've gotten or the images you've gotten, the next thing you want to do is to download the image into your photo gallery. Now the background is saved to my phone gallery. The next thing you want to do is to open up your CapCut to merge the background you've generated and the video you've made for this particular background the next thing you want to do is to import your background to your CapCut app scroll down look for effect tap on it yeah then look for blur so you adjust the background you make it as blurry as you would want it to be so adjust it to your preferred taste the next thing is to go to your phone gallery and import the video you would want to work with to CapCut okay so I'd like to point out here that before you import your video to CapCut you would have edited it you would have edited and made it look okay because if you import it while you're trying to change background and at the same time you want to you know edit the video that will be a whole lot of issues for you so the best thing is to edit it before you import it to cap into CapCut. yeah align the length of the video to be the same okay Okay guys, if you're still here, if you're still watching up to this very moment, I want to believe that you've learned one or two things. Please like and subscribe to this channel in order to support it. Tap on the video and click on remove background. There you go. So here I'm trying to adjust the frame. My own original frame to fit into this background that i generated as you can see on the screen so while the background is removing you can be checking for any error you know you can just use the opportunity to check for things that are not in place so yeah you still give it time the arrow that is rotating or this small arrow here you can see on the screen is a process that the that the background the level the background has reached so you still have to hold on for the background to be properly removed again if you found this video interesting please give it a thumbs up and if you have any question please let me know in the comment section once you're done removing the background, you can go ahead and export your video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.